This your boy, Mr. G. And I'm about to get to my house, and I don't know why I'm riding like a maniac. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to talk about that car. You know the car. I want to talk about that car or motorcycle uh, or even vehicle that left a mark on you from your childhood that won't go away. That's my final shoot for today, anyway. Uh, for me, hands down, it was the 1968 Chevrolet Camaro. I'm going to actually put a, uh, a card in the top right hand corner of this video and link a video that I did before called Blacktop Villains, where I am um, actually at a bike show thrown by the Blacktop Villains last summer and uh, the first bike, I think the first car I, I, I film is uh, almost a carbon copy of the 1968 Chevrolet Camaro that my brother Lenny owned that just will never leave my mind. It was, it was, it just propelled me into the future of, of the motorcycle and car and boat world. Like I just, everything about engines could be summed up for me in the 1968 Camaro. My brother Lenny was older than me, he owned one, and I, I just remember a lot of legendary stories that I can't tell on film, and a couple I could share. Um, I remember going over the Betsy Ross Bridge with him in the Camaro, and he's telling me um, this story about um, <clears throat> going over the bridge in the Camaro, and as he's telling me this story, now this is in traffic on a bridge, you know, he guns the car, and uh, he had, you know, this was back then when you could lift your hood and modify your engine yourself easily, because you weren't dealing with all the electronics and needing software, and um, he guns the car, and the front end of the car just starts coming up off the ground, now, he did not know this, but I had a fear of that bridge. I used to have nightmares about my mom riding up the uh, side rails of that bridge. So I'm like, you know, losing my marbles because I'm thinking, All right, is this the day? Is this the day I get to die in my favorite vehicle? Is that what's happening to me right now? Um, he had the big, fat racing slicks on the back that were just like, in today's world, at least in New Jersey, they would definitely not be legal. I don't even remember how many inches. I mean, I had 22s on my vet. Oh, here's a nice one. Here's a nice vehicle. And uh, they were definitely a lot bigger than the 22s I had on my vet. But you'll see them. If you see Blacktop Village, the guy has a pretty nice set on there with the same exact lug nuts that my brother had on his. And he would always, when he left the house in that car, he would... He would peel out all over the place. We lived in this little uh, suburban court at the time. Um, but my brother Lenny was a city kid because we, uh, you know, we had moved from the city to the to the suburbs, and now I'm out here where I like it more. And I just remember loving that car. And the biggest, the biggest. Um, now some of these things I never even checked to find out if these were true things. It's just I heard the adults saying it. Um, um, one of the legends I remember about this car was that he had changed the engine out um, to something that was much more impressive and highly modified, and he was going to race it because we have a, a place um, around here called uh, Echo uh, Raceway, which is a drag strip. My mother caught wind of it, and for reasons I won't get into, she basically outlawed the engine. Not the car. She just did not want my brother having access to um, something that fast. So my mom praises holy hell, you will put the original engine back in the car and as the legend goes, I don't know even know if this is true, but I heard this story repeated many times. Um, he, he and his boys apparently, you know, just pulled it apart in the driveway, um, <clears throat> put it on the lift. You know, back then people would just have you know, tons of tools in their garage. Every every father's garage was a garage that things could be repaired, created, and fixed, and uh, and sometimes even fabricated. And um, 
they apparently lifted the engine out for mom to see it. She went out to like the van to go get groceries or something. They dropped, they saw her leave and said, oh no, and dropped the engine right back down in the car and uh, just told her, you know, yeah, we changed the engine out, nothing to worry about. And uh, I can tell you, uh, for a really heavy machine, that thing just absolutely hauled. And um, definitely click on the link that I provide in this video and check out the Blacktop Villains video. Now, if you if you like car shows, I actually have two Blacktop Villain videos. I'm not going to link both of them, but you can find them in my Road to Freedom stuff. It's your boy, Mr. G. And I'm out on a super windy day that's supposed to be rainy, missing Indian demo rides because if I ride all the way to the place and it rains, well, that won't be great. And I wanted to talk to you guys, so I came out here and drove around at lower speeds um, <clears throat> so that I could shoot some videos and we can have a chat. And is this a cop? Because I never see cops out here. Is this a cop? No. All right. I thought maybe that I was going to see a cop out here. Um, like, share, and subscribe, and hit me up in the comment section, and I love talking to you guys. My uh, last uh, video, I think, or the last two videos, got a lot of people chiming in. I'm learning a lot. I'm meeting new people, and I, and I love it. Talk to you guys soon. See you on the other side. Peace.